everyone, welcome to Laborable and welcome to a new video here on Laborable. On my leave is Imran. Imran, how's it going? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Nice to meet you. Thanks for inviting me. No, it's a pleasure. Thank you for bringing your VW Polo GTI out. Uh, anytime, I think. Uh, we have to shout out the Moinody in the man's yeah. You have to go. <laughs> you have to go. You have to go. Uh, go see Liberables. I said that. We must go. No problem. Ladies and gentlemen, Volkswagen sent me the new Polo GTI. And I thought this would be a great time to revisit the previous generation Polo GTI see what made this car so special uh, not only was the price of this car acceptable but it was handsome to look at it had a lovely ea 888 1.8 turbocharged engine and a dual clutch transmission with small mods they go over 200 kilowatts really easy um, the new polo gti was op optioned out is over 650,000 rand base we're kicking off just over 450,000 I mean, it's a lot of money. So before I ask him around some questions, I want to know, I want you guys to hit the subscribe button, thumbs up and share with friends and family. Adaptive damping and things like that. No, no. no, no. So, but you've got heated seats on and whatnot. We've got heated seats. Uh, we do have a sports sub suspension option. Okay. I'm not sure if that is in all the cars, but I do have come across some that don't have them. Okay. Um, but but I do have that option. Okay. Uh, and of course, after the MRC flash, we do have uh, aftermarket launch control. Of course. And I also see we have uh, physical controls for the heater and yeah, on yeah, the steering yeah, yeah, wheel, yeah, 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 yeah. which is now gone on the new one. We'll talk about that when Imran and I goes for drive in other car so i'm gonna make a u-turn in front and then we'll just put the foot down a little and just feel what the 1.8 uh, t or this modified one uh, feels like what power is this car making now uh, it's about 202 202 yes yeah, just on breathing mods shout out to mrc tuning yeah so uh, what we have done to the car is we have the wagon to cool it mm -hmm. i think um, that was that was one of our I main source advices it says look you, before you do anything you need to make sure the car cools properly yeah so we, we got the wagon to cool it um, then we got the wr um, line intake mm. uh, with the MOC Evo Cat uh, down part mm. um, and then the stage 2 tune. tune. That's it, nothing else. I mean that's just mainly breathing, but mainly, mainly breathing. breathing. First, uh, first gear is useless or second gear up your... I mean this is going between every gear change which the other one does but very quietly. This car is still very quiet but quite loud from the outside. And the suspension, beautifully damped and very fast. Damn! Like in gear, it's yeah. This it's, is it's in sync. That's what, I, that's what I like about it. It's not too much. It's yeah. Not, not too loud. Um, of course, the, the the level up is in. You gotta start add. You, you gotta jump to the to the Golf Seven or the or is a Golf Eights and the RS Threes in it. Yeah. It's different levels of power. I think I'm at that. If, like you know, you get, it's like one of those things. The minute you want more, yeah. the minute you touch more, you want. You want more, you want more. So I think I mean, I was thinking of ice twenty going in here, but then it's like, <laughs> uh, what am I gonna get from that? <laughs> Ladies and gents, let's hop into the new Polo GTI and see how Imran and I feel with all the options and all the money if it is worthwhile. So let's go have a look. <laughs> Right 
Alright ladies and gentlemen, behind the wheel now with Imran in the new, brand new Polo GTI 2022 with a light bar. sunroof, the beat sound system, these optional extra wheels, um, it's got adaptive cruise control and whatnot. 680,000 Rand plus. While I sit here with an extremely sore neck from squash this morning, ladies and gentlemen, please check out www.liberable.co.za. It's going to change the game and going to change the way you sell your car here in South Africa. It's down in the description box below. Right, Imran. So, build quality. What are we thinking? Does it feel worth the asking price? Look, I think, uh, as I said before, we had to, had to take a break. <laughs> I mean, my overall, my overall vehicle car, it looks, it looks extremely cheap. Mm -hmm. I think the version before this, I mean, didn't look like this. It didn't give me this feel that this mm -hmm. one does. Um, even the red, I think, is a bit too strong, but it would be just be my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. It doesn't give you that elegant, when I buy something with a GTI tag, I want it to be elegant and classic. Yeah. Um, this thing might be fast, but it's fast and cheap. What I what I think is a big issue here is the fact that although I'm okay with these touch button systems of the aircon and stuff, while driving it can be quite distracting because I have to physically put my finger somewhere. Whereas with the non with the with the non face of you could just turn quickly. Yeah. 22 degrees, 22 degrees fan speed where the air must go. Um, the steering wheel as well, like swiping your finger for volume, yeah. can all just be a little bit... Uh, I, th I think it's one of those things that that, that is, you're seeing that everywhere now. And I, and I think the idea is that uh, the more you do it, the more often or the more second nature it will yeah. become. I mean, even if you buy the new BF and new Merc, they all have the key dashes and the keys in the middle and all of those yeah. things. So I think that's that's where we are going. Yeah. Um, but I do agree that it's, it's in your face. Yeah. And all the Finishes of everything you'll see just by you having the car for a few days, there's fingerprints everywhere. Yeah. Let's let's not uh, be too hard. I think we can end off by saying that nevertheless, this still has the E8 AAA. 100%. And it's still gonna make stupid power with mods, which is what South Africans want. Indeed, in the stock form for its price, a poppy exhaust, a bit more leather inside, better soft touch points. A more refined beat sound system. Like, I'm just a little bit disappointed by some of the the, the experiences here. Yeah. No, I do agree, and, and, and again, it comes back to the price tag, right? Yeah. When you're paying that money, you should be driving without the worry. It doesn't feel over 600k worth. Yeah. I admit it's got the beam forming headlights now, which dim as the cars come past. Which is cool. You know exactly the the the, the headlight that runs the, the data running that runs to yeah, the bed. The sunroof is cool. It's you know, cool. yeah. The lights are cool. You know, um, it's yeah. got that that cool factor, but I don't feel that money. Yeah, like if you were to ask me now, do I feel that the need to upgrade? The answer would be no. Yeah, and just by driving it. And also, this car is gonna sell because it's in the segment of one. Yeah. What other car is competing in the segment now? Nothing. Nothing. We don't have OPC anymore. We don't have. Peugeot GTI, we don't have Citroen DS anymore. Yep. Um, the Audi A1. I guess, yeah, I, I guess the S1 would probably be a bit more expensive, and I think mm. it is in a different class itself. I think with the four wheel drive, it gives it an edge. Mm. Um, and I think also the A1 uh, uh, 40, is it 40, 45? I think it's a 40. 45, yeah, something like that. That's also 2 litre, yeah. which is essentially the same car. So you, your choices are Polo GTI or Polo, or Polo GTI. GTI. So it's gonna sell like crazy and all and the you, you will see many of them on the road. We already are, I mean. Yeah. Like, yeah. Imran, 
Thank you, you very so much. much. I really, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the, the time, and thank you so much for bringing your car out today, guys. Conclusion: If you have a 1.8 T or non-face lift of this car, keep your car. You don't need to upgrade. You've got an amazing car. I mean, his car with mods is making over 200 kilowatt. The 1.8 turbo engine is not strangled. I mean, Robin Roberts is doing 10 yeah. seconds quarter yeah, yeah, mile. He's, he's the benchmark. Yeah, he's the benchmark for that platform. So you're not losing anything. You've got heated seats if you've got that option. Um, you're not going to lose much at all um, with your non-facelift or pre-polo uh, GTI. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe, thumbs up. Be free, be you. Liberable out. out.